Uh, I'm founder and uh, CEO of uh, Bright. Bright is uh, a year and a half uh, old company established in uh, Greece and the US. And uh, what we are doing is uh, we are developing um, dye sensitized solar cell based uh, technology, which is not new technology, but we have uh, two new features that uh, make our version of this technology unique. Um, so um, the company has been funded initially by the founding team. And uh, we have a contract we're working on um, by the Coralia Classes Initiative, which is a, an R&D organization in Greece, $1.3 million. We expect to get a new one uh, as well this year, not from this organization, but somebody else. We have 10 people, and we're looking for $2 million in order to transition the technology to um, production. The market we're addressing is uh, BIPV, basically glass surfaces of buildings, but also windows in, uh, in houses, because our panels are transparent, as you will see, and uh, produce uh, energy. Glass um, uh, accounts for 80% of building exteriors, and 40% of total energy consumption in the EU is uh, attributed to, to buildings. The solar glass for office and house, the total available market is estimated to 15 billion by 2015, and the BIPV totally 40 billion, but uh, about seven for this type of uh, technology. So the technology, um, really quickly, is uh, we start with uh, conductive glass, so glass that has a TCO layer. On top of that, uh, we lay the semiconductor, which is uh, titanium dioxide, on top of that, we put a dye, which is the photo exciter in this case, and uh, then the electrolyte, and we close the circuit with uh, the negative electrode, which is another piece of conductive glass that has a surface, very thin surface of uh, platinum or silver. Now, our IP here is the composition of the electrolyte. Most of the competing uh, approaches to this technology use uh, a liquid electrolyte, which makes it difficult to achieve long-term reliability for the product. Because as you realize, having a liquid uh, between two glasses, you have to have uh, almost perfect sealing in order for this to, to maintain its uh, integrity over a long period of time. And competing companies are trying to, to get into a more stable electrolyte, which is key, of course, in maintaining the circuit, and we managed to have a solid electrolyte, and we have written a patent on that, so that's one part of the IP. The other part is the way we do the manufacturing of this, of the cell. And we managed to have the entire manufacturing process done with in, inkjet printing and uh, oven baking for stabilizing the steps, uh, which is, uh, very effective in terms of, of capex compared to um, conventional thin film manufacturing. And I know about that because before finding Bright, I was uh, working for Applied Materials. And of course, you know Applied Materials is a key player in the, in the industry. So the product is, uh, is this kind of window, which is uh, a transparent window, a small size here, but uh, we there are inkjet printers that can do up to Gen 8 right now, 5.7 square meter glass. <clears throat> and uh, so it's transparent. There is an aesthetic effect. There is reliability because of the solid state electrolyte. Operates with diffused light from either direction. And also the light doesn't have to be solar coming from the sun. It also operates with this kind of light. So it is like an, an energy recycle uh, type of, uh, of circuit. And um, we're using only inkjet uh, printing, um, glass substrate, and, and oven in the manufacturing of this. Our business model, we're not going to build a manufacturing line to build this thing ourselves. We are going to do it through a joint venture. We already uh, have discussions with uh, large glass manufacturing companies. We're already doing TCO glass, so the first uh, step of the material. 
we will license the technology to the JV and then supply the two key ingredients, which is the, the titanium dioxide in a form that is inkjet printable, which is, not, which is not only the material, but there are some other chemical agents in there. And of course, the electrolyte, which is our patented uh, IP. And then uh, we may also take off part of the production and sell the end product. Competition, there are some great companies working in the same area, primarily Japan and uh, Korea, and you see them. Uh, but they all try to get to the, to the solid electrolyte to solve long-term reliability problems. And they are also targeting different uh, niche applications. Some are automotive uh, focused, some are building focused. The executive team, um, myself, um, my experience is um, through both uh, industry and academia, and then the other two partners are uh, coming from academia where they have uh, invented parts, parts of this technology. Where we are right now is uh, we have proven the technology in the lab. We try to transition the technology into uh, volume production, industrial level volume production. We expect to, to see the market in uh, uh, second, to, towards the end of uh, 2012 and then penetrate the market in, in uh, 2013 and have uh, volume sales by 2014. Uh, if there are any investors, we have a full business plan, of course, that uh, has lots of financial figures and uh, uh, talks about the technology and the model. So the new funding we want, uh, we need this uh, $2 million and we need that in order to make industrial size product and have the product certified through TUV in uh, the way solar panels are certified. Uh, well, of course, we have uh, already funding that is, that is running and is uh, sustaining the company and we plan to aggressively seek other funding. There are lots of opportunities opening in Greece right now through different uh, organizations for clean tech funding so that we leverage the two million we're gonna raise in order to, without diluting the investors. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> when was this uh, technology invented? Has it been around for yeah. some time? Uh, the technology itself has been around uh, some time. It was invented by Dr. Gretzel Mm -hmm. uh, in Switzerland, uh, but what makes our um, approach to the technology different is that um, we have um, two ingredients uh, in the building of the panel that are unique. Yeah. One is the electrolyte, which uh, in our case is solid, mm -hmm. and that uh, gives the panel uh, long-term reliability and, um, in its life cycle. Mm -hmm. And um, the other part is uh, the way we uh, deposit the material on the substrate, which is glass. Mm -hmm. And that is by using uh, solely inkjet printing. That's great. And you use nanotechnology, right? Right. We use nanotechnology and nanomaterials mm -hmm. to form the solar cell and then the end, uh, the end product. And there's some organic, some inorganic, it's lightweight. Right, right. Uh, mostly, uh, mostly inorganic. There, there are some organic elements in uh, in our in the chemicals we are using, mm -hmm. but most of the elements are inorganic. Uh, they are easy to find. Supply of the materials is not an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not toxic uh, in any major way. So it's a pretty clean uh, manufacturing technology, and also there is not any special requirements environmental requirements for the manufacturing, no vacuum, no special clean room uh, conditions in, in making. And enough the of the resources to make it, it's not scarce? No, no. Okay. It's not scarce and um, the cost is, is pretty low. So mm -hmm. we expect uh, the product to be, uh, in terms of cost, to be close to the cost of um, uh, solar, uh, I mean, e-treated uh, mm -hmm. glass for energy efficient, oh, okay. efficiency. So, uh, are you planning to 
approach car manufacturers also to have them install these on their cars? Uh, I think the, the joint venture we are going to form in order to produce it in volume will do that, yes. Yeah. Car manufacturers and uh, building uh, companies, uh, uh, architecture firms, yeah. uh, and also the companies who make the, the frame, the window frame, mm -hmm. in which the glass goes. The, your uh, role in the green economy, can you tell us? Well, uh, our role is, um, we see ourselves as um, essentially producing a product that acts as a, an energy uh, recycler because um, our window works with um, uh, solar energy, of mm -hmm. course, but also with artificial light. And it doesn't really matter where the light comes okay. from. It works from when the light hits the, the window on either side. Oh, wow. So um, during the night when uh, regular PV doesn't, doesn't work, our product uh, works with artificial light and essentially recycles part of the energy that uh, the building draws from the grid back to the grid. Because the idea is after you install those windows in a building to connect them all together mm -hmm. and eventually connect the energy producing power plant to the grid. And therefore uh, we see it as a, a recycling method of the energy the building expends mm -hmm. back to the grid um, during, during the night and of course during the day we draw energy from the sun and we produce electricity which uh, we propagate to the, to the grid. Yeah. So the idea is uh, to reduce the, to, to make the buildings more autonomous, mm -hmm. to reduce the, the energy they, they uh, consume from the grid mm -hmm. uh, and uh, take it from uh, materials that are already installed in the building. Do you think we'll reach 100% renewable uh, uh, energy uh, production in, in the near future? Or? Um, that's a very lofty goal, I, I would mm -hmm. say. Uh, I don't think 100% uh, near future is, um, uh, is feasible mm -hmm. uh, because of, um, um, of course, economic reasons. Mm -hmm. We need to reach um, uh, grid parity first and then of course we have to to make sure that uh, the grid becomes um, smart enough and we have uh, storage uh, technologies to be able to to supply only with renewable because renewable uh, works only when the fuel in quotes is available so mm -hmm. in regular PV the sun during the day and in wind whenever there is wind but um, there are times when you don't simply have any you're, not, of them. you're not producing anything. <laughs> yeah. So there got to be some some means of uh, balancing the system, and a hundred percent is uh, is probably uh, a lot, I would say. But um, any advances we can make towards um, the European uh, twenty twenty goal of um, 20%. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that would be a yeah. great, a great uh, goal to achieve mm -hmm. and help to the environment. Yeah. For you, what is clean tech? Well, for me, it's solar, of course, because that's what I'm doing. But uh, mm -hmm. clean tech is uh, all the other renewable energy uh, technologies mm -hmm. and uh, also pollution avoidance uh, technologies. I mean, Clean tech is not uh, limited to wind and solar, but also includes water, includes uh, emissions um, um, reduction, mm -hmm. energy efficiency, and, and all those things. Yeah. Well, is there anything else that you have to No, to I thank say? you for the opportunity to, to talk about uh, our startup company and uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming. We'll be in the next one too. Oh, great. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Thank you.